Tiffany Cano here. Do you know that there's a difference between a boundary and an energetic shield and a subconscious guard or wall? There's a boundary. Uh, there's a difference between all three. Would you like to know what they are? Okay. <laughs> so let's first talk about an energetic shield. So when I was young, I was very, very empathic and sensitive and intuitive and I used to like sponge up a lot of people's stuff, like their emotions, and then I would feel wiped out by that. And so my spiritual teacher said, oh, just create an energetic shield. And so the shields were great. Um, they did give me some relief. And there are different ways to make shields. Um, even the shields that I made with like divine programming, I noticed that like here's the energy and I was inside of it and like this, um, the outer covering didn't let in as much good stuff, like good energies. It, it blocked a lot of the good things that I did and do want in my life. And the shield broke down from the inside out. So if I was thinking negatively, then the shield would just like dissolve and disintegrate from the inside out. So it was only like a temporary fix and had to keep being regenerated over and over again. Okay, so that's, that's the first one. Energetic um, guards or walls that we put up at a subconscious level, those are like, the ones that happen when we've had some sort of pain or trauma physically or psychologically in our life. And oftentimes it's from early, like early childhood. Uh, and it can also happen in adulthood, but even this, the tiniest of wounds, like um, a family member giving us like a, a glaring look, we could have our inner child, our, a part of us feel unsafe and like we're in trouble or did something wrong and then a way of protecting ourselves just boom, here goes a, a wall or a guard to like energetically protect us from you know getting getting negative energies um, or uh, avoiding some some sort of pain okay then the third type is an actual boundary it's an energetic boundary that goes around us and our space and our aura and this boundary has a cellular membrane that can let in good things like love, money, blessings, intimacy, compassion, tenderness and it can also have a boundary where you do not receive the things that you don't want to receive, like other people's stress and sadness and worry and anxiety and upset. You can learn to not accept that, not be available for that anymore. And so the, that's a brief <laughs> description of the difference between the three types. Now, I'm a proponent of boundaries boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. And that's because I've done the other two ways and it didn't work out so well for me. And since I've been able to drop the more subconscious guards and wounds because I, I do a lot of healing on myself and I'm learning how to be more aware of when I am guarded and in the moments and then heal what's triggering it and do digging in like my past lives and like early childhood and clear those too, and then releasing any conscious shields that I've created and just simply having a boundary. And then I'm approachable, I'm more authentic, more vulnerable, and people um, feel more comfortable around me and they've told me that, that like it's, it's actually been said to me that they feel so much more comfortable around me when I have, when I'm just holding space and a boundary rather than having an energetic shield up. So 
If you'd like to learn more, I have a lot more at HighlyPerceptivePeople.com. Tiffany Kano is my name, and I look forward to connecting with you at my blogs. Thank you.